Hey, welcome back to book number nine. This is an intense one. This was a really interesting one. It's The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. And it's why we do what we do in life and business. Right off the bat, not the easiest read. I'll be really, really honest. It's intense. And I found this one took a really long time because I kept having to go back and reread sections to try to figure it out and wrap my brain around different concepts. But... On that note, don't let that stop you from reading it. At the back, they do have an appendix. And the appendix kind of breaks down the entire book in like under 20 pages of like how to actually use the concepts in the books. That was really, really good. This one was interesting. There was a big feeling of it. <laughs> I walked away from it feeling very manipulated, to be really honest, because it talks about how marketing is used to get us to buy, to get us to like grab onto an idea, a concept, a product, and how it becomes um, like a craving, how we become addicted to these things. And so one of the stories they talk about is how toothpaste, they couldn't get people to brush their teeth forever ago. And so the marketing company went through and they found, they were reading through dentist textbooks and realized the film on our teeth and so they created, and the whole, the whole process is to find what your cue is, what your behavior is, and then what the reward is. And if you can connect those three, that's how you can change all of your habits. And so they would draw attention to the fact that, you know, has anyone ever felt this film on their teeth? Well, then everybody, right? We all wipe our tongue across our teeth thinking about this because it's such a natural thing to do. But then your action is to brush your teeth, which then your reward gets rid of the film and gives you this beautiful, amazing smile. And it, it almost made me want to stop brushing my teeth, to be honest, which don't worry, I didn't do, because good breath is even more important than not having a film on my teeth. But how much we've been manipulated in marketing was my number one, like, ugh, that came out of this book. But at the same time, how do we use this in a positive way? So if we have something positive we're trying to sell, if we have something positive we're trying to put out there, how do we become an addiction for people? And in our daily lives, how does that, how does the behavior become an addiction? So at the end of my last book review, I talked about how I had shifted one of my massive habits this year, and I'm now getting up at 4.30 in the morning. And what I realized is reading this book, I get up at 4.30 in the morning because of the reward that I get from that. But if I don't follow through with the with the actions and the behaviors, then I don't actually feel the good stuff, right? So I get up for self-care. So I go in my sauna and I redevelop, and this is when I read books, and, you know, do a face regime and do all these things. But those are the behaviors that then get me the reward of feeling more solid, more grounded, happier, more content, more just good throughout a day. And without it, without getting up at 4.30 in the morning, how lost I often feel. And so this was a this was a cool book. I highly recommend it, but some people, you're probably going to have to slog through this one a little bit. It's not the easiest read, and it really, really makes you think. So if you're looking to change a habit in your life, check out The Power of Habit. Not a huge book, not a tiny one either. And yeah, leave some comments on some habits that you're working on changing in your own world. Have a great day, guys.